Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about various types of breast reconstruction after mastectomy for cancer using breast implants. And really, there are two main forms of breast reconstruction using implants after mastectomy. The more traditional technique is to do it in two stages, meaning that in the first stage, a tissue expander, which is essentially a partially inflated uh, breast implant, is placed into the breast. It's actually placed underneath the chest or pectoral muscle, and it is gradually inflated with salt water or saline solution. And here in my hand, I have a tissue expander. Over time, this will stretch out the muscle and the skin. So at a later date, and that can be anywhere from a few months to even a year later, a breast implant can then be placed as a second stage. The second form of breast reconstruction with implants is what's called either a direct to implant or immediate implant reconstruction. And what that means is rather than place the tissue expander in the first stage, and then place the implant in the second stage, we simply place the implant in the first stage. There are some significant differences. Obviously, one big advantage is that with the direct to implant reconstruction, patients save an operation. They just get this done in one phase. That's a nice advantage. The second advantage is that typically patients that are candidates for an immediate implant or direct implant reconstruction have what's called the nipple sparing or nipple areola sparing mastectomy, meaning that there is no skin removed, there is no nipple or areola removed, so all the skin is there. This leaves a complete covering of the breast, so all the skin is there to cover the breast implant when it's placed. The best thing to do is to go to a board certified plastic surgeon who has experience in breast reconstruction and learn as to whether you are or are not a candidate for this type of a reconstruction. Because certainly, while many patients are candidates, some definitely are not, and every single patient is a different and special case. A multidisciplinary team approach to breast cancer care is always important. In this case, it is important because it enables myself to work closely with the general surgeon to make sure that we are able to tailor a breast reconstruction plan for each one of our patients. This is not always the case in all centers um, where the breast cancer surgeon and the plastic surgeon do not work together and as a result this limits some of your options. So it's therefore very important to go to a center where the breast cancer surgeon and the reconstructive surgeons work together on a daily basis to ensure that the most appropriate procedure, both for the mastectomy and the reconstruction, is chosen for you.